Welcome back to part 2 of this video. This is topic A1, Types of Walk and Drawings, uh, Unit 9 of BTEC Level 2 in Engineering. Uh, in part 1 of this video, we've seen the different types of walk and drawings, and these are some exam questions, some actual exam questions from uh, persons um, or with questions on this topic. So, identify two types of walk and drawings from here. So, from from video one, two types of walk and drawings, and you can see the answer is going to be isometric, which is 3D, and general assemblies, which are 2D. Data sheets and uh, machinery handbooks and Pareto are not types of walk and drawings, they're something else. Engineers use different t uh, types of drawings to convey information effectively. So, what type of drawing is this? Then, another question here you have uh, drawing types, circuit diagram, flowchart. What application, what will you use circuit diagram and flowcharts for? Remember, in part one of this video, I said for each type of drawing, Four things are important, Char the characteristics, the advantages, the disadvantages, and the applications. Now this question is about the applications. You can have questions about anything uh, of those four. Now, and the answers would be, that's an exploded diagram. You can see it's all exploded out. It's all blown out and you can see every single part and that is one of the features of an explode diagram. So that's uh, option B. Now here a circuit diagram is used for checking the layer of electronic components which is this and a flow chart is used for showing the sequence of a production. So it shows you step by step from the beginning to the end and that's what a flow chart will be used for and a circuit diagram out of these options it will be used to check the layer of electronic components. Now, this is another exam paper. You can see it's very similar to the question we, uh, we've we seen, um, but instead of walking diagrams, it's now graphical represent representations. So, which of these five will be graphical representations? So you have installation, you have sketches, you have sub-assembly, you have flowchart, and you have standardized layout. And you can see it's going to be sketches. This is topic A2, by the way, which is uh, it's uh, so all the supporting diagrams that were not covered in A1. But you can see I've included here because of this second part, which is line types. So the answers here are going to be sketches. Graphical representations are just drawing things in, you know, diagrams and sketches, apart from all the component and assembly drawings, but supporting information, sketches and flowchart. Now here, what type of line is that? And what type of line is this? And as you can see, it's got this is going to be a center line. This is going to show the center of a circle or the center of symmetry of an object. And this is the visible outline. This is how you would draw the actual shape, the outline that you can see uh, of a shape. Now, this is another type of common question. Uh, you've got different line types here, A, B, uh, C, and D. What type of line t type is a center line? Now, I'm going to go through all of them because in your examination, any of these can come up. Now, as you can see in this uh, view, you can see that is the, probably the, this is the, um, the front view in third angle, and that is the top view. So you can see you've got four quadrants, fourth, second, third. So this is the front view. As you can see, on the top you've got two holes here, but you will not be able to see that if you look at it from here. If you look at, you cannot see on the front view. So you can see this is the hidden line. It's a hidden line, it's there, but you will not see it from, if you're looking at it from this face here. Uh, B is a center line, so it's a you know long dash, short dash. It shows you the center of the circle. C is a visible outline, 
which shows you the outline of the shape and D is a dimension line. Now this symbol you can't see it clearly here but it's a circle and it's got a line through it and it's one of these here. What does this represent? You should know it. That is the diameter. And give two disadvantages of orthographic projection. So as you can see these are the answers. That is B as we've correctly said center line and this is the answers are acceptable diameter or the size of the hole so any of these are acceptable for this symbol it's the diameter uh, they'll also accept size of the hole but diameter is better now two disadvantages of orthographic projection it's not easy to read you need some skill to be able to read what this is about and what the lines mean but in your answer, when you're asked to give two disadvantages, please do not say not easy to read and can be confusing or not intuitive. This is one single answer. Too much information is presented. Yep, there's a lot going on here. Training required in a number of drawing projections, first angle projection, third angle projection. Does not show the object in 3D range. It will be a lot useful in 3D, but orthographic projection is useful, giving us the dimensions we need to make it. In a, in a 3D isometric, it will just show us how it is going to look like when it is finished. Now, if you look at this uh, object from this side here, what are you going to see? Of course, you are going to see a, this long section here and this L-shaped section here, and you're going to have a bit of a hidden line because you won't be able to see this edge. A is wrong because you can see it's a bit upside. It's, a is what will look like from the top. But they said, what will it look like from here? B fits what we want, long L shape and hidden line. So B is the answer. C is not correct. And neither is D. And that is it. It's B. Now, what type of drawing is this? So from the first part of this video, as you can see, we can see the full front of it and we can see the side going at 45 degrees what is that now on out of these options you have isometric auto isometric is 3d oblique is 3d but only oblique is the one where you have the full front and the side at 45 degrees in isometric as we've learned before you are looking at the side so you are facing the side the front is going to be at an angle and this, this side is going to be an angle, so you're tilted as if you're standing on this edge looking from here. This, of course, is an orthographic projection. It's in 2D, and you can see clearly that it's an orthographic. Schematic is where is a type of diagram where you use symbols to represent um, ac actual uh, components, so like a circuit diagram or the London on the graph map is an idea. Is, uh, is a good example of a schematic where you use colors and you use different type of symbols to represent um, the stations and the routes and the lines you have here. Assembly, that's not assembly, assembly because it's, it's one combined part together. Um, I give two reasons why engineers use exploded diagrams. So these are two answers as we've correctly said, oblique, orthographic, and exploded diagrams um, you'll be able to clearly see all the parts. We've spoken about that before. You can clearly see how each part is assembled, where it fits. It shows you detail that is otherwise hidden. This is acceptable. They only want two answers from here. Um, allow every part to each part to be named or labeled and so on and so forth. You can read through this on your own. Now, you have uh, a company which is orthographic projection drawing when making customized components. The orthographic projection shows a squivel bracket for a satellite receiver. Calculate the overall length. How would you do this? Now from here to the center of the circle is 65. And the radius of this circle from here to here, this big rounded section is 20. So what would be the overall? 65 from here to here, then from here to here, 20. So you add them together. Calculate the overall length, that will be 85. What is C bomb? What does C bomb mean? As you can see, it looks at here. C bomb 
from video one uh, part one of this video is countable it just means that you drill and then you countable for a bolt so that when you put the bolt in you don't see it from the top it's flush and these are the answers so you can see it's 85 millimeters because you're dealing millimeters here and any of these answers will be acceptable and as you can see it means countable and this is the B part of the question which is four marks so two advantages of this company using orthographic projection and these are the answers all these answers are acceptable or any other that makes sense so allows it to get now because they want two advantages with four marks you have to give an extended answer that means you have to give an answer and you have to say so that the reason for the answer what does what's, what does that answer uh, enable you to do so these are some of them some of them I've highlighted the ones I feel are easier the other ones here drawings are skilled so that or you can say providing a realistic depiction a realistic image of the part being represented represented uh, prevents prevention of prevents confusion errors in size as because there is a unique or standard dimension in star use it's universally recognized so any of these answers will be acceptable to uh, in an exam which one of these is an orthographic projection drawing this should be very easy to you there are two types first angle and third angle and third angle is here and that's the answer now here this this is a type of question where this comes as an insert it comes as a separate diagram that is inserted into your question and as you can see there's a lot going on here in this uh, in this particular type of question it says which line type represents hidden details so you've got a uh, you got you got a b c d and there's an E somewhere, E, and then there's F. A is a dimension line, as you can see here. And B is a center line, because the center of the circle, as you can see, long dash, short dash. And C is a hidden line, because it's showing you something, an even number of dashes. It's showing you something that is behind here that you cannot see from this view. And then D is an extension line, just so that you can get the dimensions you can have uh, some lines to get dimensions on and then F you know this is a section plane so this is where you're cutting so if if you cut this then what are you going to see that's another question so as you can see that is a hidden line C what do PCD stand for we covered this in video one PCD stands for page circle diameter and what is the distance E from here to here, as you can see, from here to here is 100. If this is 40, and that is 40, then what is this going to be? As you can see, pitch circle diameter, and it's going to be 20. 40 plus 40 plus 20 is the answer. So that is 20. It says there's no section view here. To explain two errors when making this. Um, or on this drawing that will cause a problem when interpreting information because if there was a section view you show if you cut through it you'll be able to see clearly what's going on with all this hidden detail here these are some of the errors in here these are some of the errors uh, that's a wrong projection uh, symbol here um, this this is um, it's told you that the pitch circle diameter is 20 but what is the uh, diameter of the holes themselves? Um, as you can see, this dimension line, you're not supposed to dimension inside the object. Dimension lines are supposed to be outside the object. This is com it's, it's, uh, conflicting with some of your detail here. You can't s It's blocking uh, some of the things you should see. So the dimension lines should always be outside. And then here, as you can see, there is no dimension here. So this is some of these are some of the read, uh, things that are wrong with it. Hole size not specified. I've said that so that the engineers will not be able to drill the holes. It's an extended question. They want two answers for four marks. You have to say so that. So the holes are not 
shown the whole uh, sizes are not shown and as a result of that the engineers will not be able to correctly drill the holes so these are uh, possible answers that you can give about what is wrong with that drawing and then lastly if you slice this drawing down here so if you cut it on this plane and you look at it from this arrow direction what are you going to see now there's an easy way to do this whenever you're cutting through space here as you can see there's no material here it's going to be white on the drawing when you're cutting through material it's going to be shaded on the drawing so as you can see you start from here you cut through you're going to have white and then you're going to have some material some shading and then when you get up to this so if you look at it from here when you get up to this bit as well when you cut it you are going to see uh, there's a hole here if you look on the, uh, the previous drawing you can see that this is a hole and this is another hole so you have four holes around a hole I'll show you here as you can see on this one you have a hole in the middle and four holes around it so you're going to have space and space and then in between you're going to have some uh, shading so which of these is correct as you can see there's no space here represented here so this is wrong here space space for the hole a space for the little holes here so that is correct and then at the bottom here you're cutting through some more space here so there is uh, white space here this is wrong because the shading is in the wrong place and this is wrong because it doesn't show these small holes at the top here and that is it that's the answer so thank you for watching this video um, I hope that you hit subscribe there will be more videos on some of the other topics uh, and good luck in your exams. Thank you.